Welcome back. It's 444 here. All eyes on the roads again this morning as we watch for that potential fog and smoke combination, especially out in the east. The great news is I've been watching cameras here and I have not seen any major issues yet. Now that's not to say we won't see some problems develop this morning, but at this immediate moment, uh, we have our Leah McNeil out there live view on the left side of your camera. This is what New Orleans East has looked like. Now earlier they were passing right past Michoud Boulevard. That's where it's been the worst the past couple of mornings, right past 510. And they uh, had a little bit of smoke, a little bit of fog it looked like, but it wasn't a wide out condition at the moment. Once again, that's not to say it won't change. Things can change in the snap of a finger with these visibilities. That's what we've been seeing the past couple of days. So we're watching it closely, but at the 445 at this exact moment, uh, they were doing pretty good and they're getting close to the the foot of the causeway at this point. You can see there's quite a bit of traffic, so please, please use extra extra caution if you are one of those people who are heading down the twin span this morning into the city elsewhere. We don't have any major fog problems north of the lake. We do have some dense fog in Bell Chase. Homa, a few areas of patchier fog out in the river parishes and then up into our northern parts of the Florida parishes from Macomb to Bogalusa into Pearl River County. But the fog is not as widespread as it was yesterday. And at the moment we're doing OK out in the east. But once again, things can change quickly, so we're going to be following it for you all morning here, keeping an eye on that camera every second that we can. Now, if we do see smog and fog, uh, uh, fog and smoke develop should begin to clear out after the 8 a.m. hour. That's what we've seen the past couple of days and then our afternoon. We're going to be about 81 with uh, partly cloudy skies. I do have some rain in the forecast this evening after sunset. We'll bump it up to about a 30, maybe even 40, 50% chance of a few light showers later tonight. And this is great news. This is just the beginning of what is going to be some rain in the forecast for the next week nearly every single day probably features at least a few showers. Now I don't think it's going to be particularly heavy going into tonight. This is a batch of showers later this evening coming up from the Gulf. You can see a few of those light showers around later tonight and then tomorrow a weak front is going to move in later in the evening. Maybe a few lighter showers with it. Notice nothing's heavy tomorrow, but it will be cloudy and we'll have some passing light showers. Same thing Saturday, same thing Sunday. Just a few light showers around. Not a washout this weekend. I don't think. The cold front, it's going to get to our coast and stall out. Now this is a good ingredient to get multiple rain chances over a stretch of days, and it looks like that's going to happen. And it also looks like a storm system is going to develop on the tail end of this cold front and move across the northern Gulf. That's what you want if you're trying to get big rain totals somewhere. So I think Monday and Tuesday of next week will be our two days that we're going to be watching maybe for some heavier rain. Now with that being said, there is still uncertainty on where that heavy rain is going to fall, and these are two different scenarios on how this could play out. Yeah, the black there shows you that it's maxed out our scale. Models are showing that somewhere along the northern Gulf Coast or right just to our south in the Gulf, by Tuesday of next week, some spots could be picking up five to ten inches of rain, a really heavy rain here. This is one scenario. Now there's another scenario. If that low pressure tracks closer to us, it sends that heavier rain over us and we get the heavy rain. This would be fantastic. Now, of course, we'd have to watch for some localized flooding, but this is what we need. One to put out these fires and two to help out with our ongoing drought that's been happening now for over eight to nine months. So there's a chance that we do get some decent rain next week. There's also that chance that if that low stays just south of us, we miss a big portion of it, so there's still that uncertainty. Once again, that would be early next week, Monday and Tuesday as that low pressure develops. But as we get you ready for the weekend, fog and smoke don't look to be an issue this weekend. I don't think we're going to be in the upper 60s with a breeze that should help out and we'll have some passing showers. And then next week, all eyes are going to be on Monday and Tuesday to see if we can get some of that heavier rain guys.